have ears, let them hear the parable of the officials and the scribe. Is the kingdom of God like this? A group of officials came to the scribe Ezra with a problem, namely that the people, the people, their priests and their Levites, were still hanging about with other peoples that had been living in the land with them, that were living in the land with them. Canaanites, Hittites, Perizzites, Jebusites, Ammonites, Moabites, Amorites, and the Egyptians, abominable people, the officials insisted to Ezra. And they weren't just sitting out on adjacent stoops, talking to one another in the street, buying from each other's stores, sending their children to the same schools. Some of the people, the officials' people and Ezra's people, had Canaanite sweethearts, had Hittite mistresses, Perizzite wives, for God's sake. And the other way around, their women, the officials' women and Ezra's women, had Jebusite men friends, Ammonite lovers, Moabite husbands, for God's sake. So this was the official's point. This is what they said. Our holy race has mixed itself. That was the term they used, mixed itself, themselves, with these. They couldn't bring themselves to say these what, or they didn't know how to describe such horrors, so they stuck their fingers down their throats to show disgust and threw their hands up in the air to say, what can we do? Is the kingdom of God like this? When Ezra heard this, he ripped the lapels off his jacket and the buttons off his shirt. He pulled hair out of his head and pieces out of his beard. He fell back into his chair, appalled. And he sat in silence until evening prayer. Then at evening prayer, he got up his jacket and his shirt still torn. He got up and he fell down on his face and he prayed prostrate, but so all could hear. My God, I can't look up to you for our sins are crawling over us. They are like a swarm of locusts. They cover us until they reach the sun. From forever we have been like this, our kings, our priests, our Levites, our officials, this stiff-necked people, a swarm of shame. And now, when you have had mercy on us and relieved us from our bondage and have given us back this holy place, now when we see you didn't forget us but cause the kings of Persia to pardon us and send us back here to your house, to build it up again. What do we do? Do we listen? Didn't you warn us that the land we were coming back to was unclean, like a toilet clogged with the pollutions of the people here, the ites of all sorts and stenches, and the Egyptians buzzing around them like flies, abominable and unclean, Ezra cried out. Didn't you warn us, don't mix with them, your women with their men or your men with their women. Don't do anything that will give them a moment's peace or a penny's worth of prosperity. Is the kingdom of God like this? That Ezra kept this up for hours, praying, accusing, weeping, lying on the ground, screaming into the dirt until a crowd gathered and at the urging of the officials began wailing and weeping with him. Until one of them, Shechaniah ben Jehiel said what Ezra wanted to hear. Yes, we've done this. We've talked with these people. We've traded with them. We've sent our children to the same schools. And we've had Canaanite sweethearts. We've had Hittite mistresses. We've taken parasites for wives, for God's sake. And our women have had Jebusite men friends. They have slept with Ammonites. They have married Moabites, for God's sake. And he stuck his forefinger down his throat and threw his hands up in the air. Is the kingdom of God like this? The one Shechaniah ben Jehiel went on, here's what we can do. We'll put them all away. 
our women, every man of them, and our men, every woman of them, and every child mixed with their blood. So that Ezra stood up, and he yelled out into the crowd, Did you hear? Yes, the crowd answered. They had heard. Do you all swear it? Yes, and they all swore it. And Ezra went inside, and he wrote it down, and he gave the people three days to do it. And on the third day, it was raining as hard as it can rain. Is the kingdom of God like this? Ezra stood above them under an awning, while the people sat in the drenching rain and promised again to get rid of them all, the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Perizzite women and the Jebusite and the Ammonite and the Moabite men, the scurrilous Egyptians of all sexes and their filthy children of every mixture. Is the kingdom of God like this? They shivered in the cold, heavy rain, but they kept their promise, and they put away those they had loved, man, woman, and child. And they made sacrifices in the temple until the smoke of the sacrifices overwhelmed the rain and drove away the swarms of locusts and flies, the men, the women, and the children. And the sun shone again. Who have ears, let them hear.